Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi says that this entity will evade people from the real truth and that is spirituality life after death and this is what the main agenda of these agencies main agenda of this agent they will propound or postulate into the world and this thing is happening as i told you as a dialectical materialism one thesis was given from islam there was another anti thesis was written already by illuminati forces secret societies when they try to put something their main objective is to commit association in worshiping god almighty put jesus christ put buddha put name them and second to disbelieve not to disobey disbelieve in the fundamentals of the, of god's uh, sorry fundamental of god the religions as a whole to make disbelief concept to make you agnostic skeptic atheist to dis- deny the existence of god or to deny the two entities evil and good as you know to postulate this waswasa whispering into the minds of the people that even if you believe in god and satan nobody is going to hell or heaven these are all political point of views all political point of views one is a right wing another is the left wing subhanallah astaghfirullah imagine this sickness the danger of this kind of concept that you see it's just like elections somebody votes in your constituency another votes in another constituency and both will not be charged for anything it's just like your selection similarly either you select god almighty or you select satan you both are going to heaven astaghfirullah these all concepts were being taught by devil by this the jal the son of lucifer and coming from thousands of years is fitna the jal we have the hadith of jasasa that there is a sahabi one of sahabi he is just got off the course in the ocean in the in the sea and he just got hit by some of the island and then an island he saw one person jasasa is like a haywan like an animal like a body of a human and he took him up and there was a temple and in the temple Jesus uh, sorry this uh, in the temple this the jal was there and he was uh, strangled in the chains and he said that i am shihad dajjal and this event has been recorded in the hadith of prophet sallallahu and we believe it and this event like uh, if even you count now it's 1400 years old so the jal was there already he's alive but he has a long age and he's waiting for the right time and the moment in the history this is what jews are waiting for they are preparing secret societies were preparing for long time and ages that these all things will happen and the jal will come and when this the jal will come he will be the trickster under the name of mashkhiya the reformer for the jews that is why theodore hoes when he went back to palestine this mount judge this uh, zion where the zionist political movement this year all these big rabbis helping this benjamin netanyahu to get the third temple and you know that what's happening golan heights are also gone and now another annexations are happening i read the news now if this guy needs more annexation and he's doing he gonna go another chunk another chunk another chunk he want to expand everything to make a greater israel and once it will be done the jal will come the chair of this a uh, throne of david will be will be brought back to jerusalem from westminster abbey the royal parliament in uk which was taken by a roman roman uh, emperor titus in uh, 70 ad he took from jerusalem and he just took it to i think so ireland and then ireland went to scotland and then began to ireland and then is been uh, just brought back to westminster abbey england this thing will be brought back hadith is already there of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the desolation of the medina the state of medina will be when israel when the, when the rise of jerusalem will come when the rise of jerusalem will come then you will see the great war will erupt the great wall is al malhamatul uzma not so for uzma and then the great wall will erupt then when the great war will erupt 
you all people will go again back to Constantinople, Turkey. And when it happens, then you will hear that the Dajjal has arrived. This is the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sahih hadith. So the rising state of Israel will be when, when, the, when the desolation of Medina will happen. How it will happen, Allahu Alam. But there's a hadith you can check. I know these all things, how the Medina will fall in the sense of spirituality. Inshallah, but this is not right now. I cannot elaborate these points. Muhaddithin has written down a great you know, explanation for all this in Sharah of Imam Bukhari Muslim or even uh, the big Mufassirin and the Muhaddisin they wrote in their Sharah when they try to explain particular points of Hadith in the annals of the history. We have the record even from now ulama's too. But the point is that when the Great War happened then the Jal will arrive. So these all plannings you can see where the currents are going, where these you know, shadows are coming, casting out. This happening right now in front of your eyes. Jerusalem has been taken away. And then they're going to put the, over there, they have invented the coin. This Balfour is there. Cyrus the Great is there. And Donald Trump is there. They make a coin. They are planning these all things. And we are looking in front of our eyes. Everything is getting away from our hands. But this all thing happens because these are being foretold by Prophet Muhammad the Arabi. And this commotion you have to understand. This is my point. I started in the beginning to tell you three religions, what do they understand by the concept of Mashiya. Now I'm going to tell you what the fitna he's going to bring. It's all materialism. The greed of materialism. That I want to get money, I want to get my life and to forget and close your right eye. The right of spiritualism. Meaning, just believe in physical sciences. As one of the Lama Iqbal, you know, great poet, he said that that kafir ki ye pehchan hai ke wo afaq mein gum hai aur mu'min ki ye pehchan ke gum hai us mein afaq The symbol, the, the similitude of or the example of a kafir, a disbeliever is that that he is, him, you know, indulging himself into the ocean of universe cosmology and other hand, mu'min he is whole, the whole cosmology has been, you know, inserted or is developing into his small little mind. Meaning he's not worrying about these things, materialism. He believes in spirituality. All these things are secretary for him that he can, you know, compensate. But coffee, they're worrying about to go to the moon. They're worrying about go to the other planets to find extraterrestrial life, to find another planet where we're going to live. We're going to trans, you know, trans transport or you're gonna you know just uh, telepathy or or these all sciences of transferring without any medium we're gonna go there transportation teleportation so they are doing these things what all these efforts are on fit that the jal materialism try to earn and forget the real life the life after death hereafter forget those things and just indulge yourself that you will become an animals greed and this Dajjal is full of materialistic person without any wisdom. So you, you're going to make your people away from God Almighty. Whatever irrespectively your religion are, keep yourself away so you will become animals. And this is what Satan promised God when he was out from the kingdom of heaven, the, uh, the paradise. He said that, give me respite till the day of judgment. I will allure your people from right, left, back and forth. And most of you people, among them, you will find ungrateful, ingratitude. And Allah says that, except mukhlaseen, the one which I have chosen, you will not be able to allure them. This is the Quranic person. Five places Allah mentioned about these events between the Mukalima, the dialogue between the Satan and God Almighty. It's mentioned in the Quran five times after the creation of Adam from material, from uh, creation ex nihilo to the creation ex material. So now you have to understand these things. This thing happens now. Now the force is there. We call it physical forces towards metaphysical. Close metaphysical forces. Only physical forces is, is, is equal to greed. But if you open only metaphysical forces, Rahbaniya, only spiritualism, day and night you just keep pushing, that is austerity. It's not acceptable. Islam says open both eyes. Eyes of spiritualism and materialism. That is called wisdom, hikmah. And this is what Prophet says that, read Surah Kahf, 
that you will be away from the commotion of the jal you will not indulge in this dunya you will not love this dunya so you have to understand every sign symbol eyes illuminati these are forces working to they are just preparing the you know red carpet for the upcoming of the jal and when he will come he will put all people into indulge into shirk into kufr and into one government system that we are sovereign and supreme power and you all are just our slaves animals and you are born to be exploited and then the Isa alayhi salam will come and he will kill the jal and then there will be islam well that all the people will following under one system that is islamic system and then Isa alayhi salam will become sick and then he will die and he will be buried a besides the grave of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in madina this is all event will happen now you have to understand masih alayhi salam come to kill the jal but before that prophet says it will be great commissions commotions trials and tribulations you have to pay because before the advent of the jal with the physical appearance once he will come he will make a big great fitna for you people great fitna and after his death another great fitna of gog and magog yajuj and majuj will erupt and allah says that isa alayhisalam will pray that allah kill these people and allah with some some termites who going to bite their spinal cords and then they will die and their deaths their bodies will be so much in abundance that their smell will be remain i think so for hundreds of years and then people will pray again or uh, or i think so not hundreds of years sometime and the isa alayhisalam i think so pray again that allah do something then there will be a big kind of animals flying animals that take and they dump they will dump their bodies into the ocean or somewhere anyways there are many hadiths now i'm not going into that these all things so these things that happens like you have to understand and be aware of the jal fitna music films whatever things which are making your heart to love this dunya is the commotion of the jal and you are under it if you do not understand this commotion i am telling you you pitiful person you are not blessed by god almighty even if you are ulama if you do not understand the concept and this you know uh, deep micro a uh, micro study of these all things you just only on macro superficial you superficial i'm telling you you're not blessed trust me there's something wrong with you you need to understand the fitna the jal you will be able to understand only the reason once you have both knowledge with you you just close eyes from one part of knowledge and you keep speculating in your own personal dunya you will never get it So pray to Allah that Allah save us from the trials and the tribulations of the jal and save us from these anomalies try to put us in the people bada al islam gharib an wasyud kama bada gharib an fatuba lil ghuraba put us in the islam with islam becomes misnomer to the people because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the blessed are those who will become strange when the islam will become strange wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil